We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Bulls and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing with it. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again. Today. Seven yards there on that bit of misdirection. That'll bring up second, second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here we go! Fumble, loose ball! Tackle around the 33 yard line. What was most impressive is how he followed the play, and he just didn't give up on it. It was that effort that allowed him to come away with the fumble. So the offense will come out for their first possession. Good field position for their first possession of the ball game. Let's see if they can capitalize off of it. They come out in a five wide set. He's taken down at the 22-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. Myers in there, got it, touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A short three play, 33 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. So the score now, seven nothing. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Huskies are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Six yards there on the counter. Gain of six yards. That'll make it seven and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Mike 10. Mike 10. Mike 10. Ready. Red 18. And he's taken down at about the 31. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. He really did a nice job of anticipating the run and making the play on the ball carrier. it out left to the running back. Score that round for the defense. These guys are flying around right now. It's away and it's a booming punt. He showed a good burst there. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Washington is up a score. Tackle made at about the 43-yard line. And he 
he's tackled around the 43-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short gain. Nice stop by the junior. Brought down at the 47-yard line. And now he's got room to run. And down he goes around the 34-yard line. He's tackled the 37-yard line. Call it a loss of three yards. That brings up second and 13. From the 37-yard line. Second down. Five wide. 34's the mic. 34's the mic. He's coming. Check, check, check. check. Caught, and he's hit immediately. He's out of bounds at the 30-yard line. That's a genius. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Washington can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. It's up, looks long enough, and he splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. The Huskies are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Right? Well, you've talked to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? It's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. There. And they make the stop at the 25. That makes it second and from their own 25-yard line. It's second down. Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. Running! 180! Wide! 80! Again with a carry. And they got him for a loss. The defense needs to be careful. Safety might have made that play, but if he keeps coming up on the run, he'll be spaced downfield for the pass. it out finds the junior the 10 touchdown USF here's the extra point to get within a field goal he splits the uprights with the extra point it was a quick three play 74 yard drive and they put up seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense looking more and more explosive. The score now, 10-7. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We're set to get restarted as the offense looks to build on the success of their field goal on the last drive. Washington holds a field goal lead. He's got an opening. Runs it left for a decent game. He gets to about the 41-yard line. Now he's scrambling. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. It's interesting to see 
how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Yet to go, but at the end of one, the Huskies with a three point lead. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Four down, four down. Mike 34, Mike 34. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Down. Blue 14. Fires out to his receiver, and he's immediately tackled. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. Washington is up a field goal. They go with a toss. Tackled after decent pickup. That makes it first and ten. The 10 makes it to the 8. That brings up second and one. Got a receiver and he dropped it. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. This is the 10th play of this drive. And he throws it away. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Touchdown, Huskies. run by the halfback to find the end zone. Good play call here by the offensive coordinator. He realizes when you get down into the red zone and you have a halfback like this, just give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Tins the mic. Tins the mic. Set. Texas. Good outside run there. That's good for that makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line. It's second down. Mike 10. Mike 10. Mike 10. Here we go. Slide 80. Slide 80. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line. Lyman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start, offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. Third down. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Man left, man left. From their own 22-yard line. Third down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Tackle at the 30. Gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And he shoved out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Pretty good job by the return man there. 
you think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Tackled for a loss. No gain. Third down. Check, Oklahoma. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's taken down right around the 42 yard line. That makes it fourth and inches. Booming kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? He's under pressure. Right now, this quarterback, when he's calling play action, is doing a good job of selling the run fit. He's not tipping his hand at all that it's a play action pass. He's doing a good job of selling the run fake, which is getting the defense out of position and making it much easier to throw the football. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 50 yard line. Mike 10, Mike 10. Ready! Light 80! Light! Watch the slant! Watch the slant! Motion, motion! And they get nice yardage on that run. South Florida will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Gives it to the back. And he manages to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Third down and five to go. Ball on the 45. Here we go. Right, 68. Right, 68. They bring him down. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. Quick throw, brought down at the 24-yard line. yard line not a real fancy play here just a smartly run route good protection and a well-placed ball most times you don't need much more than that quick throw caught touchdown So it's the running back who shows off his hands on the touchdown. It's such a bonus to have a back who can contribute to the passing game. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick.
Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Washington is up by three. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. That's four yards on the play. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. It's second down, six to go. Ball on their own 29. Washington's going to have to use their second time out of the hat. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. He lets it fly. Can't haul it in. Number two, two the intended receiver on the play. play. That makes it second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 43. 34's the mic, 34's the mic. He's coming. Check in. Oklahoma. And he's sacked. We played a half of football. The Huskies lead 17-14. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Neither ground game got much going in the first half, averaging a little less than three yards per rush. David, as you look at this, uh, look, you always hear the term, get the offense behind the chain. When oh, yeah. you get them in long yardage situations, what does that do for a defense? Well, it's, it's so much fun. You start with the defensive line, you know it's a pass. You get to fly up field as fast as you want to. It's not third and three where you're sitting in a situation where they could run or they could pass, and there's a little bit of doubt in your mind when you're coming. You fly up field, you rush the passer. Everybody knows that the sticks are a little bit further back, so DBs can back up a little bit and play to the sticks as opposed to playing third and short situations. It makes it easier on a whole defense. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Great first half on a tight ball game, and we're set to start quarter number three. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Washington has a three-point lead. He makes his way to about the 42. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. Here they come. And he dropped it. You don't want to knock the big guy because it was a very good play, but it looked like he could have come up with the interception. From their own 42 yard line, second down. Got a man, watch out here. He's pushed out of bounds at the 44. Makes it to the 42-yard line. Brought down at the 29-yard line. And they'll get him in the backfield. 
Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. Man left, man left. From the 31-yard line. Mike second down. They go with the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? And this play is number eight on the drive. Washington holds a field goal lead. Set, blue 14. He's hit and taken down. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Oklahoma. Inside the 10. Big play, and it's first and goal. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. It's a yard on the run. Good job by the junior linebacker to read the run and limit the play to a short game. Hey, hey, Oklahoma! Touchdown, Washington! He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Field. Got the corner. He's tackled around the 42-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. It's first and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Tins the mic. Tins the mic. Ready. 180. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Another run, and he's going to be brought down in the backfield. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Open field, and they make the stop at the 47. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. He really got a hold of that one. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 38-yard line. With a pitch, and he's taken down behind the line. That'll bring, That'll bring up, up second, second and 11. Second down and 11. Ball on the 37 yard line. Hey, check Mike 34. Mike 34. Set. Hot 19. Set. Hot. Bumba. The defense scoops it up. Brought down after a nice run up the middle.
The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And he's tackled at the 33. From the 33-yard line, second down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Get to that quickly. They'll bring him down around the 17 yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 17 yard line, first down. Now he tries to buy some time. Now he's going to run and watch out. About nine yards there for the quarterback. going to come away with a first down on the play. And that shows you why he's such a weapon as a ball carrier. Good game for the offense. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They line up in the jumbo set. And down he goes around the two-yard line. tighter than the experts thought. 24-14, Husky. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. Let's go. Green Knights. We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. It's fourth and goal from the five. Let's see if the defense can make a stand here. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. A conversion there could have really helped them, but it just wasn't to be. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Rose, and it's knocked away. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. From their own five-yard line, it's second down. Tackle at the 17. He steps out right around the 20. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. It's third down and seven yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. He goes out of bounds around the 23-yard line. That's good for being three yards. That makes it fourth and four. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's tackled at the 41. 
The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 44. Mike 10, Mike 10, Mike 10. Ready! Ah. Ah. He's taken down at the 37. First down. Coming up now. Ball on the 38. Ready. Check the mic. Ready. 200 check. 200 check. On the ground, inside. And he's taken down at the 39. game with this kick right here the kick is away it's long enough no good he missed it to the right the quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play less than three minutes in the game Second and five, ball on their own 44. Up the middle for a nice game. South Florida will take their first time out of the half. was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. And this one is a beauty. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. He's on the run, and he has it on the corner. And now he's going to improvise. Brought down around the 45-yard line. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want us. They don't want us. First down. Here we go. Green up. And he tackles him hard at the 37-yard line. Check, check. Thank God. Thank God. That'll make it second and long. Spikes the ball. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Four down, four down. Just five. under two minutes five. in the game. Set. Throws out and through his hands. Level at 
the 29. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Gains his way to the 20-yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. The 10. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. And he tacks on the extra point. A short three-play, 29-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's been a good day for this defensive lineman, really showing off his skills. Yeah, he's just got a knack for coming up with a big play. Yeah, with three sacks, you might want to start chipping this guy. You know, you better use a running back, you better use a tight end, anything you can to slow him down. If you want to point to certain individuals as reasons why they're winning, he'd be a good start. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. We have less than a minute to go. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. That's a game of five on the play. That brings him second and five. And he stops the clock with a spike. It's third and five. Ball on the 30-yard line. He's under pressure, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And down he goes at the 37. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. He'll go down to one knee. Bulls have to look at this somehow as a positive. Their star player had a great game. They just got to look the next week. Yeah, it's tough anytime you lose a game to be positive. But if there is anything to be positive about, it's about that performance by this individual. He, he really did everything that he could do to try to win this football game. Unfortunately, the team ends up losing. But they can't build to the future around his abilities for sure. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.